hope you're all well and staying safe at home. We've been bringing you some activities to try at home with your younger children. And today's activity is for toddlers. So for sort of 18 months to three years. Children need to be able to pay attention and listen when they get to um, preschool. And before understanding words that, and um, their sounds, children need to be aware of everyday sounds and what's going on and what they are. So today's activity is all about listening. So you can start the activity perhaps by asking the children to tune in their listening ears. Um, and that's something, a skill that they know that when they start doing that, it means that they're really listening to what's going on. And you can use that later on. If you, if you do this activity quite regularly um, and you want to, to get the children to tune into what you're saying, you can ask them to tune in their listening ears. So that can be quite useful for them to understand that listening is a skill and something that they can really try at. Um, listening doesn't come naturally. Listening is a learnt skill. And these activities can help with those, with those skills. So, Becoming aware of the sounds that happen through everyday activity um, can really help for them to pinpoint sounds and for them to learn to listen. Um, and to do this, you can point out the sounds and where it's coming from and what it is. So if you turn off all the background um, noises like the television and the radio, and then just go around with your child around the house and start naming what the, the sounds are. So you could do it inside the house, um, you could do it outside in the garden or when you're out doing your daily walk you can really think about what noises you can hear so it could be a washing machine and when you hear it then you have to point to it so you can walk around and perhaps if you go into your kitchen and you, the washing machine is on or um, the tumble dryer is on you can say Shh, what sounds can we hear and if they say or point to the washing machine, then you tell them back, say, yes, we can hear the washing machine. And it might be that you want to make the noise as well, just so that they can practice and see if they can make the noise. Um, it could be um, a dog barking if you're out and about. Or what can we hear? We can hear a dog barking or we can hear the bird singing um, or we can hear the car or the motorbike, um, whatever it is. Um, in the home, you could do running of tap, so you could turn the tap on, you could do running a tap or flushing the toilet, um, you could do the doorbell, um, the doors shutting or footsteps on the, on the ground, um, all of these things that you can, you can try, but name them, make sure that you're naming them. You can say, what can we hear? We can hear our footsteps or what can we hear? we can hear the clock ticking. Um, so really try and name the things that they're hearing and see if they can start naming them. So the more you do it, the more they'll be able to pick out the noises. Um, and actually it's really interesting when you're, if you do go out, if you're going out for your daily walk, if you just stand still for a moment and just listen, it's, it's interesting to hear how many different noises that are around us that we don't even notice. Um, and it's really good for the, for the toddlers to start using their ears and really listening because those listening skills are gonna be really important when they start preschool and school. Okay, have fun.